Hello team! I am going to be doing a little bit of makeup. I pulled all of my Urban Retreat stuff that I typically use and I know we're getting so excited about like the makeup launches and all that stuff so I pulled the things that are um, actually coming back for sure that are going to be not discontinued or at, aka retired. We don't say discontinued, we say retired. Hello. <clears throat> Hi, Christine. Also need my Coke Zero, in case you guys don't know, I'm like addicted to Coke Zero. It's like my water. I know, that's so bad. I gotta get back on my Hydra Slim body because I actually did sip on that all morning, every morning. So that was actually really, really good for me. But, um. Oh, so funny. So before I start putting on this makeup, um, I just got these little things. I'm building a little treasure box of prizes for our team for UR 2.0 when we have our celebrations calls and whatnot. And I got some of these to put in the treasure box because like you put these on your wrists right here when you wash your face and then the water is blocked from like running down your arm and like getting everything messy and soaking your bathroom floor and your clothes and all that stuff. So I I was like, this is so cool. And then just talk about like the lack of communication <laughs> that there was in my old company. We actually sold these green scrunchies that were made with like terry cloth towel material. And I was like, mm, those are kind of ugly. I don't want to wear that in my hair. They were not ever supposed to be for your hair. Those were supposed to be for putting on your arms while you wash your face so the water doesn't run down your arms. But, like, nobody ever told us that. So, <laughs> how are we supposed to know? <laughs> anyway, you don't figure it out until you have an 11-year-old that goes in your bathroom and she's like, Mom, that's for your arms. Mm -hmm. Anyways, they know all the things, right? You know all the things. Ooh, Shelly just sent me a text message. She's asking what airport she should fly into. She's talking about Jupiter. Oh, look, you guys, if you need just like a thing to give you the confidence to go live, I swear to God, earrings like this, like big colorful earrings, will always do the trick. And I'm actually um I'm actually giving everybody a pair of earrings like this that come to Jupiter. it over to that text um palm beach international if you guys are flying and it's palm beach international is the best airport okay so anyways uh let's see i'm gonna start with this maybe i'll start with the primer so i just posted pictures of new things that i saw on the website and primer was one of them it's like the same formula except it's now going to be in a glass jar and twice as much product for like the same exact price um I don't think you actually, I'm like really, it, it, it's down to the last little bits here. I don't think you really need primer when you're using the 3D corrector. Um, I think the most important thing, which I already did, is putting on sunscreen. And then if you're really not doing like a big full makeup and you just want something on your face, the corrector is really good. And I don't think you need primer with it. I think that really does everything all in one. But I like the way that this primer feels and it does like really smooth out your pores. The corrector does too, but why not double it? And then I kind of like use this primer to go into like where I would get laugh lines and little wrinkles and things like that and make sure I get those areas really well because it does help to smooth it all out. It just like, it just irons out the creases in your face. Just do that <laughs> and it will iron it all out. Angie loves the corrector. It's really good. It is my favorite. Um, if I could only have one, you know, makeup product, from the collection, uh, that would be the one. But you can see already, all I have is the primer on my skin and it's already like, I'm seeing a difference just, just in that, so good stuff. Um, as far as makeup brushes, I hope we come out with a full range. We have that one coming out. I use makeup brushes and I have a collection of makeup brushes that I've 
amassed like over the past 20 years. So uh, I just grab whatever I have and I use my makeup brushes. So I use the light medium shade of the UR um, 3D corrector. So let me go ahead and put that on the back of my hand. Now I just squirt out like that much. These are a bit self-adjusting. When I first started, when I first got these, I was like, ah, I don't know if it's my right skin color. It's not, it's more, think of it more like a BB cream um, where it's going to like adjust to your skin tone. So I'm just going to go ahead and start with this. Um, sometimes I can't talk when I apply, sorry. And you're just going to see how nice it does end up blending everything. And the color that it is, is a very neutral, there's like no undertone in this. If that is, um, you might be like, how can there be no undertone? It's so neutral that it's like there's no undertone and it just balances out everything in your skin. Or another way you could see it is that it has every undertone in here and that it perfectly balances out your skin and to use that too um what you use the light medium and i do this like everywhere i'm putting this around my eyes like this can go absolutely everywhere and this one's the one that i say like i would pick this product because it's just such a cool unique product it has a lot of really great skincare ingredients. So see how I first at first started putting this on and it was like, oh, it doesn't look like it's gonna match. But it self-adjusts to like, we're like the same tone as my forehead, which has nothing, which has no coverage on it yet. So I'm just gonna get a little bit more because my forehead is kind of big, light medium. Yeah, and then you could, I, I just wouldn't even worry about like being like, oh, is this gonna perfectly match that? does not matter at all. <laughs> so I always kind of start in the middle and tend to like blend outwards. And this one, I'm getting a ton of reflection because I'm like right in the, sitting in front of my window for lighting on purpose. But once I'm like out of that, this one sets pretty matte. So I don't, even really need like a setting powder with this when I do it by itself. So I could be totally finished. I could just be like, hey, I'm doing, you know, mascara and some lip gloss and that's it. It's very easy or I can keep going and doing more fancy things. You can add coverage with this. I like to, um, I like to cover my freckles. This one has a skin evening skincare in it. So this is one that if you have customers who are like, I'm really trying to like even out my skin tone, I have dark spots, stuff like that. This not only is giving you like the immediate benefit of all of this, but over time too, because the skincare ingredients in here do take care of evening out that skin tone. So you got a lot of benefits there. Um, Sometimes I use the foundation as concealer, not all over the face. The corrector is it, like I'm done. Just kind of blend it here. Hello, hi, Belia. <laughs> I see you guys. All right, so sometimes I'll take the, the light foundation. Which one? I say the light one, the porcelain foundation. And I'll use that as concealer if I'm like really trying to brighten up my under eyes or if I didn't get enough sleep. But I already have all of my skincare. So my eye contour gel has really like helped to depuff and get rid of any darkness. So it's not necessary. I'm just showing you guys how I use it like a, a concealer because this actually, I like this better than any of my concealers because it really does not crease um, at all. Like sometimes the worst part about doing uh, an under eye concealer is that like you will end up having like all these like little lines um, as the day goes on. And this really does not do that. It doesn't give you an issue. So again, I'm using just a little, a small, blending brush. This one is like a specifically a concealer brush. And I just like using this lighter 
kind of shade and go over the lids a little bit with it. And do any little red areas. See, and it just brightens up. Brightens up the eyes. More awake and alive. Yeah. Oh, Billy, the makeup blurs out stuff. It blends awesome, like everything, right? Yay. Thanks, Billy. I'm so glad. That's what we're here to do. We're here to learn and share, learn and share and grow together. Um, I like to do a little more on the side because I have this like weird shadow thing that happens over there. No one else has that problem but me, so <laughs> all the fun. <laughs> yeah, it's really, it looks so soft and so natural. I mean, you, you can't really mess up, which is, <laughs> which is great. Okay, so I think I'm going to do my contour palette next. I think I'll do contour palette next since we're, now we'll let the face kind of settle. That We'll do this palette next. This is the Uptown. This is like, I think the one eyeshadow palette. Oh no, Boomtown I think is also sticking around, but they've redone all the palettes. They did not redo Uptown because this is an award-winning palette. So why mess with perfection? <laughs> And I want you guys to see like some of these uh, eyeshadows, you're going to see like little white dots in it. It's that's a uh, little um, ones that like parts of it that are pieces of mica that it's not talc. It's it's a nice mineral that's just like a special little reflective mineral. So those are going to look not like metallic, but give you like that Aww. shimmer and not um, not be like a glittery shiny. You know what I mean? Okay, so, oh, Shelly's texting me again. This is so funny. I can't, I'm going to make her wait. I know she's got that live. We'll all be on her live at 2 o'clock, um, but that's okay. So, none of the colors in here are scary. They're all really neutral, work for everyone. Um, I usually, like, if I'm just doing an everyday, I tend to just pick one color and maybe just pop like one of these bone colors up into the eyebrow. So let's see here, maybe like this guy and I can just start with that and do a little bit right under this brow, just like that. Boom. You can also kind of bring that kind of shade into the inner corner and just connect it a little bit. So it's just covering any veins or whatever and just that. Okay. And then <clears throat> I like to choose, if I'm just doing one color, I usually don't pick a flat matte color. I pick one of the ones that have those little shimmers in them because it, it looks more dimensional. So it's kind of like a, a trick that you can do. If you just want to use one color and not have to worry about using a different color in the crease, see how because of where this is placed, it looks like the shadows, like as you move your face <laughs> and you get kind of different lighting on different angles of your eyelids, it looks dimensional, right? So it doesn't look like you just have a flat to one color. But if you use one of these that are like the little nice reflecting shimmer ones, um, it does highlight the dimensions of your eyes and it picks up all the shadows and reflects all the high points and it looks more sculpted. So you can't mess up, you can't mess up, you can't like uh, go wrong and think, oh, I need to do something different in my crease and something different in the middle here. Don't even worry about that. Just pick one color. There, just slap it on. Look how pretty it is. Literally looks creamy. Nothing is creasing. Nothing's fallen over here because these are talc free. It's just so nice. <clears throat> Angie, I love neutral colors. Velia, I'll do one soon and break the makeup scare city. <laughs> Makeup scarcity. So you can do a lot of fun things. Um, I'll show you guys how you can do eyeliner with this too. I forgot my eyeliner brush, but you can wet it and dip into these darker colors. Um, I'm not going to go get it. I'll just show you another kind of fun thing you can do. 
I, I like taking this like more brown color up here. You can see it's got a dark spot in it. That's usually where I put my eyeliner, but I can just take it with my ring finger and I can fudge it. I'm just gonna massage the top of my eyelashes right where like the lash line meets and just do a, like a slight little smoky liner. Do you see that? Yeah. So just get some more on there and just starting on the outside. See that? And it's just a little bit of like I'm cheating. A little bit of something, right? And then if you want to, you can get your brush and blend it, but you don't need to. Like your, it totally just blends while you're doing that. See? Sorry, I definitely can't talk one day. <laughs> so it's just a little hack for if you want to put on one of the darker shades as a liner and you don't have a brush and all that stuff, you can just use your finger and get it done. Okay, so that's good. I have I have one tube left of Skyscraper Mascara. This is the best mascara ever. Um, I know, Teresa, if you were on the makeup training with her, she was talking about like this hack that everyone does and we all get to do it too, which is curl our eyelashes before we um, demo our mascara, which I am not big on curling my eyelashes. I probably should do it. I just kind of get scared of the whole little contraption and I just, I just know I'm going to rip my eyelashes out. <laughs> so maybe I just get to like practice and get good at it, right? But anyway, I love this mascara and I like that you can really build with it, but it does give you those really nice, thick, fluffy eyelashes. Um, when you start at the base of your, like at the roots of your lashes, um, I would just kind of wiggle it there and that's where like it kind of starts to separate the lashes. And then as you're like wiggling it, then kind of lift it up and out. So, boom, and there you go. So, there we go. Kind of see what's happening there. But it's just like they're so full and pretty and never clumpy. And they literally look like soft little feathers. And I'm sure, right, Angie, I'm sure they would look a thousand times better if I curled my eyelashes first. My 11-year-old daughter curls her eyelashes for school every morning. So maybe I do need to get on that. <laughs> maybe all the children are doing it. Maybe we can too. All the children are also like wearing their blush really weird too. It's another thing I noticed. They put it like, I was like followed this rule with blush. I'll show you guys when I'm going to get the contour palette out. I was like followed this rule with the blush that you don't put it uh, in this eye socket area, right? That like you stay away. Like you put a little highlighter right on the edge there, but basically like you're not putting blush in this eye socket area. Well, the children today are taking their blush and they're like doing it here like this and like bringing it up like that. And like, it's all like up by the eye. I don't know. I'm not really here for that. All right. Curling lashes. I just started curling. But I mean, look, I didn't curl my eyelashes and look, they look pretty good right? So anyway, love that everything on my face is a treatment. Love that this has the conditioning things, the vitamin E, all that stuff that makes your eyelashes grow. Love that the makeup has the things that are good for the skin. It's like, um, you don't, you don't feel like, oh, I gotta wash this stuff off my face as soon as possible. Like, it can be on there and you don't feel like, oh, I got to go wash my face really fast. All right. So contour palette is next. 
Yay, I brought a brush for that. So this is um, this is coming back. And the new palette is really cute because it has like you are stamped, I think. I mean, on the picture, it looks like you are stamped onto each one of the colors. Um, so I start with, if you don't know like what to do with this palette, you see it and you're like, oh, I'm just going to use the blush. Like it has um, two kinds of highlighter. It has a little bronzer slash um contour it has the blush in it if you are like I'm not sure if this is my skin tone whatever uh, the biggest tip that I can give you is get that brush get that big kabuki brush that's in the picture next to this that they're going to come out with and just swirl it all over mix all of these colors together mix them all up and swipe it over your forehead and your cheeks and don't even think about which one you're putting where just put them all on with a big brush and it's so cool. Um, anyway, I love this palette. I had this with me all summer and I used it everywhere that I went and everyone complimented me on my makeup and I was like, I would love to sell you this, but not till October. <laughs> so I have a list of people uh, that I get to go back to. I just do a little bit of that under there. just kind of like tuck and lift that little area with your contour. I'm gonna go here where I can accent into the hollows of my cheeks. Angie, this is a great palette, isn't it? I absolutely adore, adore this. Boom. Go up into the temples. And then I kind of just pop it right on top of my forehead and blend it out to the sides there. Okay. And then I'm going to do a little bit of the pink blush. Actually, I'm going to do the pink blush last. Um, I'm going to do the highlighter shades. The only difference, like the white one, I usually would do, like where I put that bone colored eyeshadow. Um, this is a nice highlighter. If you don't want shimmer, it does wake your face up and look really pretty. I put it straight across the middle of my forehead. Right into the middle there. Um, the highlighter, that's the gold highlighter or like the beigey one. I love up here to the sides. I love it right here. And it's like, it's subtle. See what I mean? Like it's not in your face glitter. It's just like, oh, she looks so good and pulled together. It's like that. It's not anything that is like crazy at all, but it's beautiful and it makes a huge difference. So this is the pink. I just do the pink on the apples of the cheeks. Just, I'm still using that same brush. So I just kind of smile and go where my cheeks get big there. There we go. That is all. That's the makeup. Oh, lips. I can still do lips. Yay. <laughs> but I'm like into a full face, you guys. Isn't this great? Okay. For lips, I'm going to do a, I can do all three steps. Um, I'm going to use a, this is my favorite one. I, it, they don't have numbers on them, but this is from the nude lip crayon set. And I already have some chapstick on. I always kind of start with a base of something like that. I know that we're I'm a little bit too much of it on. I know that we have a uh, lip conditioner coming out. That's the best. That's like, for me, it helps your pencil go on smooth, everything. So it's, I'm really excited about that one. And when John showed that one, if you were on that call, it's like a little, um, it comes in like a lipstick case where you like click the button and it pops out. So it's a really cool little component too. Um, let's see here. I love this shade. 
It's called Glamour. So I use this a lot. And I just like to kind of like blur it out a little bit. I don't go too thick on that lipstick. I hope we get all the colors back of these at least and then some because they're all so pretty. Pretty, pretty. Um, and then I'm going to use Obsessed. This is my, it's almost empty. This is my favorite lip gloss. I love all of these lip glosses, but like, I don't know. I just love this one the most. And it's fine to put it on with the applicator, but I just put it on with my finger. See, cause I love a glossy lip. I think it looks so nice and just healthy and pretty and shiny. So that's that. And that's it. That's my whole makeup look. So I had my lip pencil, the lip glosses. I want all of them. Like when we can order, I'm literally ordering one of every single color, every single color. I have like three now. Um, this one's first to empty for sure. The obsessed, I just wear it all the time. Um, my favorite color of the lipstick was glamour. The skyscraper, which is coming back in like the coolest tube like not this thing but like a nice sexy long cylinder it's gonna be awesome um i use my 3d corrector i use my primer i used uh just as concealer i used the vanilla foundation and i used contour palette and uptown all right. Well, I will see you guys over uh, on, what are they calling it now? The UR, USA and Canada and Puerto Rico Opportunity Group. I'll see you on Shelly's group. I'll see you on the corporate group. Bye. <laughs>